Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's going to be a full face makeup tutorial on this look that I created right here. I have to talk really fast because my camera is about to die, but yeah, you guys, um, I did my eyeshadow look. I did one eye off a of camera and then the other eye on camera. And I also did my face makeup portion as well. That's something I want to start including in every single video that I do. So yeah, you guys, the main star of the show is this palette right here from Be Perfect. This is the Ultimates palette, but this is the mini version of it. And this is what it looks like. Literally, like, if you don't want too much in your collection and you just want the perfect neutral all matte palette, this is the one that you need to get. It's very affordable and I can put the price on the screen right now. But if you do want a more wide shade range, then you can also get the Be Perfect Ultimates palette in the full size. And this is what that one looks like. I just didn't find it necessary to use this one since all the shades that I needed was in the mini palette. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, you guys, so I'm going in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base as always. And I'm just going to be taking that all over the eyelid and the crease area. And I'm just going to be blending that out, making sure that it is uh, evenly distributed. So now I'm going into the Be Perfect Ultimates palette. This is the mini version. And I'm going to be taking the first shade. It is Jet Black. And I'm just going to be taking that on just the corner of my eye. I didn't want to put it all the way in the crease and in the inner corner and everything. Because I just wanted it to be smoky on the outer corner. So next I'm going to be taking a deep brown shade and I'm going to be going further into the crease and I'm also going to use that for the second shade that we're going to be blending um, into the black. So yeah, I just wanted this to be really smoky and just blown out. So next I'm going to take a, another brown shade and I honestly regret going in with this shade because I feel like it just blended a little bit too well with the previous shade that we applied but that's okay. Um, definitely not like my favorite eyeshadow look that I've done. I feel like I've done so much better. My cut creases didn't even match. I was not pleased with this look but it is what it is. Um, so I just took those shades and I just blended them as I'm also building up the intensity. Now I'm going in with the last shade, which is my transition shade, because I wanted this look to be warmed up. So yeah, this is kind of like a rustic orangey brown shade. So yeah. <music> So now I'm just taking those shades that I previously applied and just going through them, making sure that it's to the intensity that I want it to be. Typically, when you're going in and you're blending your eyeshadows, you start to lose the intensity. So it's really important that you do this step to just make sure that everything is pigmented into the intensity you want it to be. So I had went ahead and cut my crease off of camera and um, I had went in with this eyeshadow in this e.l.f. palette. Um, I will be showing you guys the shade that I used after I applied it. I don't know why I had did. I think I had forgot to show y'all. But yeah, so um, I'm just taking that shade and then I'm going to go on top of that shade with a pressed glitter in another eyeshadow palette. So now I'm going to be lining my um, cut crease with this neon water activated liner. And yeah, I'm just doing something real simple, just a line to cut that crease out and just make it pop a little bit more. And then I'm just going to line my lash line afterwards. So 
So now I'm taking these gold rhinestones that I got from Amazon and I'm just going to be putting three on um, like the beginning part of my crease. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying three dots of lash glue and then I'm just going to be taking my little nail tool and I am just applying the rhinestones where I applied the glue. Okay, you guys, so we're going to get started with the face makeup. I don't know why, but I just was in the mood to talk during the face portion of today's video. So, yeah, I'm going to start out with my primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I am sampling this primer out right now. I've definitely been into more pore filling primers because it definitely does give a smooth finish to the skin. So, I have a couple of good high-end ones. Now, I'm looking for, like drugstore ones so yes we are going to give this a shot okay so i let that primer dry down now i'm gonna go into my kvd foundation this is in the shade let's see uh tan 076 so yeah i really like this foundation a lot um i don't know if you guys seen my last video but i did mention this foundation because it's a new foundation that i just recently got i know that i love it because i've used it time and time before but yeah, you guys, I actually really, really like this foundation. It is more on the side of like my summer shade, but I can still pull it off in the winter time. So yeah, um, I did mention this foundation in my last video. It was a makeup haul of all like high-end foundations and concealer mainly like just face products so yeah if it's something that like piques your interest in that video then just please let me know i'm gonna go ahead and link that video up above but yeah if you see a product and you're just like girl i need you to do a review on that or i've been eyeing that or whatever the case may be just let me know and i can do a video on that product So as you can see, as I'm blending out this foundation, I like to avoid my under eye area just because we're already going to be applying concealers and everything. So I just feel like it's no point. So yeah, you guys, I know you can really tell now that I have everything on that this is definitely like more towards my summer shade. But like I said, I can still make it work. Um, I still really do like this foundation. I want to wear it like all year round. So yeah. So now I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC45. And I'm just going to be taking that under my eye. This is like full, full coverage, you guys. And I have so many of these and I never use them. So I'm just like, let me just go ahead and just use it right quick. Now, I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, my friend had called me and she really needed to vent and talk and stuff. So I decided to just take the call. So yeah, um, I'm just going to be blending out that concealer. And then, of course, as always, I like to go in with a lighter concealer, which is going to be the Studio Finished Matte Concealer in NW20. It's way, way lighter. So yeah, um, after I apply this concealer, I'm going to apply that one and um, just apply it in the areas that I want it to be uh, mainly highlighted.
Now I'm going to be taking one of my favorite powders at the moment. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Blondie. So I'm just going to be setting all of those areas where I applied that concealer. Now I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Powder in the shade Blondie. This is their press powder. And you guys, I can truly say that I cannot do my foundation routine without this powder. Like, my foundation routine will just not look the same without it. I love it so much. It literally just gives that nice, luminous, highlighted effect with also still keeping the smoothness and the blurness of my under eyes. So, yeah, you guys, I really, really love this powder a lot. Now I'm going to be taking my bronzer. And I'm going to be mixing those two shades that I'm putting to right there. And yeah, just applying that in all of the areas where I want to be bronzed. So now I'm going in with that last shade that you guys seen in the one size trio and uh, that is literally the perfect shade to contour my nose. So yeah, I just went ahead and did that. Now I'm going in with my blush. This blush is really, really beautiful and it's pigmented. I wish I could have used more. I didn't know that um, you could barely really even see the blush, but yeah, um, now I'm just going into my lower lash line and just taking... Um, I want to say it was espresso and it was the rust color as well. Um, I think it was rust set or something like that. Yeah. So those two shades and just um, smoking out the lash line, just making sure that everything matches and it blends really well. Um, and then after that, I'm going in with some mascara. <laughs> So now what I'm doing is just taking that same glitter that I use on my lid into the inner corner. And yeah, I'm just placing that eyeshadow first and then the glitter. So you guys, now I'm lining my lips with my Wet n Wild lip pencil. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to get any footage of me applying the lip color because I got too close to the uh, mirror. And I did not realize that while I was recording. So I apologize about that. But yeah, it's just a beautiful chocolate brown shade. So yeah, you guys, after I did that, I did apply some more gold rhinestones to the outer corner. And I had to get very ghetto, unfortunately, because I did not record any um, outro footage. So yeah, you guys, I really do apologize about that. So what I did was just took um, clips from my YouTube short and just put them together so you guys can see it and it can fit in the frame. So yeah, sorry about that, but at least you guys get to see the final look. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.